So Leah, first of all, congratulations to the offer of McKinsey. So maybe let us understand a bit more on how did you receive the happy news? So did they call you at the same day or what was the, the feedback you received? How did it go? So um, yeah, share this here. So we are also knowing how you received the happy news. Yes, so um, I was uh, actually I took my uh, last uh, round of interviews, uh, like the fourth one, and then the partner who actually interviewed me um, called me three days after the last uh, interview. Mm -hmm. and, uh, he he, he want, really wanted to tell me the news uh, by himself, so that was really nice. Uh, so yeah, I waited for three days, more or less. Okay, three days. And this was uh, McKinsey in Paris, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Cool. So maybe let's reflect a little bit back. So um, if you think about where you were when you started the preparation and the coaching program and also the development path that you took during the preparation. So what are your thoughts uh, with regards to this? What was the, let's say, most significant um, improvement or change that fueled your success? And are there any aspects that were particularly helpful on that journey? Yeah, I understand the question. So, yes, um, I think there is a huge difference be between uh, before starting and 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 while uh, while practicing uh, with mm -hmm. the partner. Uh, so before starting, I would say like that was my second tri like I had two unsuccessful trials at McKinsey uh, before starting. So I think um, in terms of motivation, it was quite difficult actually to to. You know, to realize that I was uh, like I was trying and failing and trying and failing. You know, uh, but still I was able like two years ago, uh, just after COVID, to interview with tier two firms and including um, Roland Berger, where I had an offer. So, like I was able by my own means to actually make it happen. Uh, but I felt that there was still a real, I would say, gap in terms of performance between tier two and MVBs, and so. Um, and I knew that if I were honest with myself, I knew I was not able to to get it by my own means because I really tried everything beforehand. You know, I I was alone. I was practicing with many people. I was uh, uh, memorizing dozens and dozens of framework. I used the online, like any online content that was available. Uh, I pushed it very hard, and that was time and energy consuming. I would say, uh, and. Uh, I was still able to get tier two, but not MBBs. And uh, since since my objective was actually to get into MBBs, then uh, then that's why I was uh, I thought that I I have to change the method that I'm using currently. And uh, that's why I contacted you, and that's why I'm, I I I decided to join the program because I felt that um, that um, um, I would say that. Um, the expectations and uh, the level of, um, I would say, um, professionalism needed is uh, is uh, quite exceptional. And um, that when you prepare on your own, um, everything is blurry. Every, everything is is not clear. Um, you cannot really benchmark yourself. You you don't know where you where you go basically. Um, and I think that's why uh, by joining the program, I felt a lot more um like uh comfortable actually uh to 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 make it up um so is it is it clear enough or <laughs> yeah it is actually it is actually key. maybe let me ask you one follow-up question right so uh, i think you also perceived us as a scam at the beginning right so um let's maybe even speak about this so when did you change your mind about this and when did you realize that you were actually making progress and this is a professional development program here uh, that is also worth the investment right so that might be also interesting in addition <laughs> Sorry about this. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, I mean, look, this is uh, this is like uh, what you said, and we are we are here to have that conversation, right? So uh, let's let's speak about this. It's totally fine. Yeah. So, um, um, well, there are many many online platforms uh, which sell co coaching, and especially for MBBs, um, like there are many people selling like one to one sessions, yes. and pay themselves quite like quite a lot, I would say knowing that people are students, you know, most of the time. Um, and 
for MB of a machine, like I thought it was a scam beforehand because um, like you were quite present on social media, like on YouTube and Instagram, I think, or LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And since I was interested in consulting, like I had this feed again and again and again with yes. either uh, CD's face or your face. And um, I, f I was interested in actually when I entered the website, um, for some reason, the website uh, back in time was actually a bit old. And yeah. so I, I was a bit like, hmm, like. <laughs> no, I, I love this. I, I love this. So so what, what was the moment when you realized that what we are doing is actually a, a systematic and end-to-end -end preparation program? What was this, this moment about? Was it when, when we spoke? Was it uh, when you were like getting first the access to the platform? Was it when we had the first coaching session? When was it changing for you? Yeah, yeah. So um, honestly, it was actually when you, you put me in contact with a former mentee, uh, yeah. like who is actually currently working at McKinsey. Yeah. Uh, like now that was obvious. Like the he had no um, he had no purpose to actually lie to me, saying uh, uh, you know yeah. this platform, this uh, etc. So like he was already <laughs> working at McKinsey, and so yeah. Uh, so that was obvious and he told me like yes uh, he told me you know it's so competitive that why not trying the shot you know and said so for me it was very successful and um, and you can trust them like hundred uh, percent and I felt really relieved you know because I, we had very nice chats um, yeah. you, yourself CD and I yeah but when I realized the investment when I realized that the, the site yeah. the website that entered was not um, um, like was sound sounding like a scam. I was a bit afraid uh, beforehand. Yeah. But like uh, like once I talked to Victor, and then once I understand also the contents of the program, which is um, which is actually super customized, and this is something that is so important when you take the interviews because everyone is different. Like yeah. I think my main flows were not the ones of my case partners. Like so. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, that, thank you. Thank you for, for, for also playing this back. I mean, ultimately for us, how we are thinking about the, um, the program, we are thinking about this as a supporting infrastructure, right? Because in the end, what you're mentioning is correct. So every starting situation is different and also every, let's say, circumstances um, throughout the prep journey are just very individual, right? So it depends what kind of feedback you have received previously. It depends what are you already strong at and also where do you need uh, improvements, right? Let's uh, frame it like this. And um, the program or the supporting infrastructure always need to take into consideration the balance in between meeting a standard bar, but also the way that is very individual to get to that standard bar, right? And here the individuation aspect kicks in and here is also where you need senior calibration on that journey. And um, this is what uh, we are trying to push hard for every day, right? Um, so maybe maybe let's also speak a bit about uh, what did you struggle with the most at the beginning, right? And what exactly was it that you helped uh, to overcome this? Yeah, for sure. So, um, so I think um, what I struggled with the most uh, I think there are many things I would say, but um, I think there are, I would say, like more or less four main things. Mm -hmm. The first one, and uh, you know, it's uh, <laughs> I guess uh, young. Uh, it was more a psychological matter. Like I felt yes. uh, that the the obstacle that I was facing was too high for me, and um, and I think you really helped me a lot on this. You know, like um, just by being, t telling me that it was actually possible and that my preparation was when when I was off track, you you were openly and honest about this and I and I'm I'm thanking you so much because otherwise it would not have happened like at all you know and I, I know it's like it's obvious you know uh, like at one point you <laughs> I, I don't know if you remember you told me that I had to actually postpone my interviews because I was not ready and I was like oh my god you know but um but yeah I think it was it was honest and it was true so like yeah. I had to so, so psychological um, impact, I would say, but this is like, yeah, this is me. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, apart from this, I think, uh, um, I think what is very strong and what really helped me to to overcome uh, any type of cases, because most of the time the feedback was not, I think, a very difficult thing for me, but it was more the case actually. Um, for the case, I think uh, the fact that there are only, I would say, um, three methodologies to solve any type of issues, or three or four, 
uh, three or four methodologies to, 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 to answer any type of, of case problems. I think that was for me the game changer. Like, because beforehand I was learning by heart dozens and dozens of framework and I was trying to fit into the context, etc., et memorizing, but at this stage of expertise and of, uh, of stress as well, you, you can no longer rely on your memory. You have to, you have to real, rely on your problem solving skills before all, you know? So yeah, uh, so psychological, uh, the three types of problems, uh, third, also um, the insight generation process. I think that was my main, um, the main obstacle that I had, like uh, may, being being sure to actually um, generate the right insights to communicate it uh, effectively, and then coming back to the core question of our clients, and then proposing the next logical step in order to proceed. You know. Um, and that was a that was a very uh, huge game game changer for me uh, when I was uh, preparing actually. Uh, and the fourth one I would say is um, um, to really really um, understand like what were my flaws like. And uh, for this I had uh, like I used the customer coaching that you provided me, and also uh, I recorded myself. And I listen to the call recording, and yes. at one point the process humbles you a lot, you know, like uh, when you realize yeah. so wrong. Oh, you and, to... and you really saw your confidence building up throughout the journey, right? So uh, if I recall the very beginning, it was like, oh, I can't do this, or no, that's uh, and like, and, and at the end, it was like you just found solutions for things that are open, right? So you had an approach every single time. And I also believe, and uh, maybe a, a question back to you, right? Um, listening to yourself, especially to the early performances and also to the performances at the end will build additional confidence because you can see it by yourself and listen by yourself how you are performing differently, right? So, um, you know, recognizing this by yourself is usually even 10 times stronger than someone else telling you you have no ground because you can see it more or less. You can zoom out, look at your own performance and see the difference and listen to the difference that is further than building up that, that confidence uh, to approach the interviews on eye level with the interviewer, right? And with you, you could really see that confidence building up throughout the journey. And I'm, I'm super happy that we manage the, let's say, a uh, tricky part um, of the individual situation at the beginning and then uh, went into the standard mode of professional development. So this is I would like how I would like to call it, right? And then with the result at the end. So um, that's that's an, a very inspiring journey, right? So I also was super happy when I uh, when I got the news here personally, to be fairly honest, um, because uh, this was uh, quite a journey, right? So also for me and for us, um, but I was just super happy and, and I saw you invested uh, you are dedicated to this, right? Um, and this is like the precondition here to go into that uh, professional delivery mode, if I if I may call it uh, like this. And um, yeah, you you just implemented what we have discussed, and I was very very happy with the development and also with the result at the end, right? So thank you also for uh, for doing so, for doing that. Um, maybe to the end, uh, is there any? Additional suggestion, one or two ideas you would have for individuals that are about to start their prep journey or they are at the beginning of their prep journey? Um, well, um, I think, I think um, again, it's a matter of priority and choice. Like, if they are serious about their preparation and, they, and if they really, really, really want to get into MBBs, uh, I think they... Yes, they should they, they, they should choose the program without um, without any hesitation. I would say because it is so time and energy consuming that actually it's more worth it to spend money and to be trained properly with with former managers who used to recruit at NBDs instead of relying on on your own understanding of what a case is. You know, like um, so. Yes, I think that would be my main. Uh, like my main feedback or like my main advice piece of advice i would say but then like it's not just like joining the program it's to to be to be serious about it like find two or three case partners who are highly like you who are very um i would say serious about their preparation and also uh, honest about uh, the feedback that they give you 
um, then record to yourself, uh, of course, and, and listen and criticize yourself and be like, be openly, like, yeah, criticize your performance um, openly. Uh, work on your weaknesses, obviously. Like, uh, it's 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 not worth it spending hours and hours of case mass if you are already good at mass. What well, like, it's yeah. Uh, and um, I would say also, uh, I think it's also a matter of communication. So yeah, I think that two more two two additional things. Uh, first one is communication. Second one is. Uh, gaining maturity, I would say. So communication is uh, try to communicate top down. Try to to always always say like wh what you're doing and why you are doing it. Like uh, st like structure the case as as much as possible uh, so that you can lead the case uh, eventually. Uh, and also like trust. I mean trust the program because you will be more and more mature to actually. Um, like face the the case uh, the case at at scale uh, uh, during your your interviews. So both in terms of content, but also in terms of uh, problem solving and and insight generation. Like um, I think you you gain a lot more maturity. So yeah. thank Sorry. you. Leah. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, I wish you uh, the best of luck for your consulting uh, journey, for your top consulting journey, and uh, thank you for taking the time uh, to speak about your experiences today. Thank you. <laughs>